Good evening, everyone. We're going to do a seven-box Stanley Cup Hockey Mixer. Nice. There's all the boxes right there. The seventh box is that uh, 2017 Upper Deck Grandeur Hockey, which are the coins, right? That's actually a giveaway box if you read the item description. So at the very end of the break, we're going to give away that Grandeur Hockey box to one person in the break. Also... There's a couple 1718 products there. We're going to randomize because we, we only sold 15 spots. Doubling the list makes only 30 teams. Vegas Gold Knights are the 31st team. So that'll be in the randomizer. So here's how we're going to do it. Is it LVGK? No, I think they go Vegas Golden Knights, right? VGK is the abbreviation. I don't know. Anyhow, name on top will get the Grandeur box at the end of the break. Second name will get any and all Vegas Golden Knights cards. All right. I think that makes sense. One spot gets you two teams. No Golden Knights. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Four and a two, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The randomizer for the Grandeur and the Golden Knights will be uh, in a different dice roll at the very end of the break. All right, so Jack down to Chris Six after six times. Four and a two. There we go. Here's the spreadsheet. Four and a two, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Red Wings down to the Winnipeg Jets. All right, Jack with the Red Wings. Drew, last spot, Mojo, one of them. Blue Jackets, William with the Avs. Todd with the Maple Leafs. EO with the Flyers. Brandon with the Islanders. Brian Bledsoe with the Preds. Matt with the Senators. Chris Parent with the Capitals. Hurricanes for Stephen K. William with the Boston Bruins. Drew with the Canucks. Sam with the Wild. Brian with the Blackhawks. Jack with the Blues. Brandon with the Flames. Stephen K. with the Stars. Nicholas with the Coyotes. Stephen K. with the Devils. Drew Kerr with my Kings. Brandon, Sabres, and Penguins. Nicholas with the Canadiens. EO with the Sharks. Todd with the Rangers. Matt with the Panthers. Drew, your other last bond mojo. Tampa Bay Lightning. Stephen K. with the Ducks. Oilers for Sam. And Chris Perrin with the Winnipeg Jets. All right, feel free to trade if you'd like. Sam's wondering if anybody wants the wild. And keep your uh, keep the boxes in mind, the years. We got a couple old to, uh, Crown Royale hockey. Then we got Fleer Showcase from 1617, 1718 Upper Deck Series 2, and 1718 Upper Deck Ice. Drew wants to know if you'd move the uh, Bruins, William. No thanks, he says. Maybe Senators or Panthers for the Devils, Stephen K. If you're if that moves the needle for you at all, it's like Golden State's going to take this first one here. What's going on in in the hockey playoffs? Looks like the Bruins are cruising through the series, huh? And this series is tied at one, one apiece. San Jose, St. Louis. All right, no, guess not, no thanks. Okay. TWC, trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. All right, so these are the six boxes you can see right here. One, two, three, four, five, and the second ten, six. 
in the seventh box, and the seven box break is the giveaway box. All right, good luck, everybody. All right, I guess we should start from the... Uh, Start with the past, I guess. 2013-14 Panini Crown Royale Hockey right in front of us. Nice. Good luck, everybody. Oh, you want a little bit of Who Am I? Okay. For the for the coin, I'll do the Who I'll do a Who Am I. <laughs> I do know nothing about hockey, but I do know something about. Doing a little bit of research on the on the Wikipedia, Todd. How do you think I do the other Who Am I's? All right. Crown Royale hockey, huh? Nice. And there's our first autograph, rookie royalty die cut for the Blackhawks. Nine out of 99. Sean Lalonde. Everyone remembers him. Brian Bledsoe in the Chicago Blackhawks. Whoa, this, that's pretty cool. Scratching the surface, I get it. Brock Nelson, the Brock Lobster rookie auto for the Islanders. That goes to Brandon Nichols. Brock Lobster. That's kind of cool. I like that. Out of 99, we've got James Reamer, die cut, and heirs to the throne, Corey Conisher for the Senators. Goes to Matt Buckler. What's going on here? No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Get you a better top loader. There you go, man. That's a lot better. All right, what do we have here? We have Daryl Sittler, 17 out of 25. That's a cool. That's a cool die cut there. The Regal Achievements. 10 points in one game? That's a lot of points. Wait, didn't didn't we have a like a trivia thing on this guy a little while back? Ah, Thomas, I'll definitely remember that one for next time. I feel like we talked about this. It wasn't like four goals and six assists or something like that? Anyway. Why do we talk about Maybe we pulled him in a Leaf Pearl break or something like that? Is 10 points in a game the most? Hockey fans, obviously my hockey knowledge not strong.
six goals, four assists. I got that. Strike that. Reverse it. He scored 10 points against the Bruins. Wow. It's February 7th, 1976. Sittler set an NHL record that still stands today for most points scored in one game. He recorded 10 points, six goals, and four assists against the Boston Bruins. That's a lot. Oh, that's what it was. Splendor. Yeah, I got Stephen K. a one of one out of him. All right, see? Slowly but surely, I'm learning. All right, we got Tyler McGinn. Rookie jersey, heirs to the throne for EO and the Flyers. We've got Heinrich Zetterberg, Red Wings. Fifty six, Drew. Did I do I not know how to read numbers? Seventy six. Think as a maple leaf, right? Yeah. Oh, I see. Heyo. Drew Kerr throwing shade. Sounds like that's the last time the leaves. Irrelevant. We got Sean Monahan. Nice. Silhouette. Two color silhouette, jersey, and autograph. 82 out of 99. Calgary Flames. Brandon Nichols with the Flames. Yoga Flame. Shots fired, Maple Leafs fans. Are you gonna let you gonna stand stand for that to happen? And we got a die cut autograph. Sean Collins. 137 out of 499. Oh, people are saying in the chat that the that Monahan is pretty good. Alright, so there you go, Calgary. And there's Sean Collins for the Blue Jackets. That's gonna go to Drew Kerr, last bot mojo. All right, so that was 2013-14. Now let's move into 2016-17, Upper Deck Fleer Showcase. So we got this clear showcase. I like to have the, the lip of the pack right here. <laughs> Jack B saying, last time what, who, the Leafs? Last time the Leafs won a cup, it was in black and white? Dang. So what does the puck look like? Just a fuzzy... That, you could mistake that for static. I don't know how I hit that button. Yeah, maybe go with a more cinematic feel. 
I think Vivid is the most accurate color representation of these cards. These packaging kind of falls apart in your hand, hard to open up. Whoa! Vlad Guerrero Jr. with another home run. We are giving away an autographed Vlad Guerrero Jr. baseball in our baseball mixer, ladies and gentlemen. It'd be pretty nice to win that, all right? Be a good time, an opportune time. A lot of times we'll do breaks. A Vlad Guerrero Jr. autograph could be chased, but not guaranteed, right? That baseball mixer, that Vlad Guerrero Jr. autograph is guaranteed. Think about it. Someone's gonna get it. All right, so this is Showcase. There's hot gloves, die cut. And the autograph is Kaspery Kapanen, 149 to 199. Hot Prospects Auto for the Toronto Maple Leafs. That's going to go to Todd, Todd Reardon, with everyone's favorite Maple Leafs. Everyone doesn't like them for some reason. That one, that one was a hard name. Kapanian? Kapanen? All right, next side. There's Pavel Zaka. It's pretty cool. Uh, Pierre Turgeon for the Islanders. And there's the other autograph, Anthony Mantha. 103 out of 299. That's for the Detroit Red Wings. That's going to go to Jack B. Hot Prospects. Is he still a hot prospect? A hot player? Bellinger had a dinger, too. Two-run bomb. All right, now let's move into 2017-18. Let's do these two tins first. 
Then we'll close out with ice. Then we'll give away that grandeur box. As well as any golden knights if we find any in here. Is that an actual card? It is. That's pretty cool. We'll just leave that in there. So Anthony Manta is uh, better than average on a bad team. Gotcha. Good luck, folks. So what happened to the Hurricanes, ladies and gentlemen? Someone give me a little one-sentence thing on the Hurricanes. A lot of people were telling me um, before these conference finals started that, hey, Hurricanes kind of look like a, possibly a team of destiny, maybe. I guess they're switching their goalie. They're going to start McElhinney in game three. Is it goalie problems? They're not a team of destiny anymore. It must be ruins time. We'll save those young guns cards. You know, there's a little more, a little more especial than the others. Flip Chittle, another Young Guns, along with Lucas Walmart. That canvas card will ship. These canvas cards, I remember, were pretty cool. Alex Tuke for the Golden Knights. So I'll be a randomizer for somebody at the end of the break. Young Guns Canvas, Ivan Berbyshev. Berbyshev, Ivan Berbyshev. So Ivan goes to the St. Louis Blues. Jack B with the blues. And I guess that's why they call it the blues.
We got Artem Anismov. Anisimov. Isn't that the guy who wrote, like, iRobot? That's exactly what I said, Thomas. Absolutely. Anisimov? I'm pretty sure it's the guy that wrote iRobot. Brian O's got a question. Uh, the term in hockey that I've never been able to get a straight answer on, what does it mean when a goalie is, quote, standing on his head? Where did it come from? Yeah, what a, I have heard that too for for a goalie that's playing really, really well, yeah. I would imagine I would imagine it's uh it's cockney rhyming slang for <laughs> Thomas is saying, I don't know, like he could make saves if he was standing on his head. I always thought that 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 he's so flexible that he could make so many moves that he's I don't know. Yeah, I guess what Thomas is saying. <laughs> he can make saves standing on his head. Nico Hersher, young guns. Charlie McAvoy, Young Guns for the Bruins. New Jersey Devils, Young Guns goes to Stephen K. McAvoy goes to the Bruins, William L. And we got Tage Thompson, Young Guns Canvas. I like those canvases. Blues, Jack B. Yeah, hyperbole thinking, saying that he's doing everything to keep the puck out, including stand on his head. Falling all over the place. Thomas W. saying, I'm a, I'm, a goal, I'm a goalie in real life. I don't even know where that came from. It, it's, it had to have been like some sort of, some sort of famous hockey announcer. You know, it's like when, when, uh, there's Andreas Borgman for the Maple Leafs. When Chick Hearn in the, like, late 70s, early 80s came up with, like, Alley Oop. And I think he may, he may even coin Slam Dunk. Back in the day, with the, he was a big, he was a Lakers TV guy for a long time. Upper deck game jersey, Bobby Fabry for the Blues. So we got a relic out of these tins. Goes to Jack B. All right, there you go. Brian O saying, is there a weight limit for a goalie? I mean, I've wa can't you just have an ungodly fat person stuff them? You know, that question has been asked before. That's a popular question. The um,
the goal is bigger than you think. It's like, it's like six feet across. So no matter how how fat you are, like you can be like Andrew Jones Dodgers fat, right? But he's still not going to be as wide as six feet. You know what I mean? I think that's four feet. But you're never going to be like you could be Andrew Jones fat, fat. You can even put a sumo wrestler there and you're still going to have all this area open between the legs open right here. They they would never be able to move side to side. Straight on shots, you're always the guy's going to block it most of the time. But they can just pass to the sides or come back curl back around and then bink So, there you go. These are Fat Andrew Jones's legs. There you go, Fat Andrew Jones. You could still just never do it. Who's Jackie Moon? I think you mean Chick Hearn? There you go, 1718 ice hockey. Come on, Machado hit a home run off of Kirsch. Machado just kind of has his number, though, too. I think he hit a dinger off of him in San Diego. Oh, look at this. Edward Colombrito. Very nice. In the early years of the NHL, goalies were prohibited from falling to the ice to block a shot. It was 1918 when NHL President Frank Calder changed the rules allowing goalies to drop to the ice. In describing the rule change, Calder said, quote, they could stand on their head if they wanted to. So there you go. So that's where the phrase came from. All right, ice. Oh, no, I've never seen Semi-Pro. Is that a reference in Semi-Pro? I heard it's pretty good. I like that movie. I see. Well, in real life, it was Chuck Hearn. There is Micah D um, Amadio to 1299. That's a lot. That's a high number. So nice, nice job, Edward. Digging that little nugget up. I love that. Now, go your homework this week, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, William likes it too. Your homework this week, try to try to get someone to uh, lure someone into a bar bet. I bet you can't tell me where that comes, where standing on your head comes from. Try to win a beer. 
There's Tyson Yost. Rookie relic jumbos for the Avs. That'll go to William. There's Phillip again to 249. Sub zero, Sidney Crosby. And there's your autograph, Owen Tibbet for the Panthers out of 199. All right, and there you have it, folks. That is your break. All right, now let's do some randomizers. Now we don't have to randomize Alex too. Now we've got to do the randomizer for this. And that, three Canucks and a Blues. All the same dice roll. Who's, who's in this break that actually wants this? We'll do a randomizer for that, too. All right, let me set all this up. All right, Sam, E.O., Stephen K., Drew, <laughs> William says, sure, why not? All right, so let's do the quad first. So that's the quad card, Hot Prospects quads. And the name on top gets the Grandeur coin. And All right, so the one of one sketch window is closed. Those are the names here. All right, let's do this. Do a Lushy sketch card? I haven't done a Lushy Mc. I should have put Lushy McBear in gold, Joey. Oh, what a mistake. No, but I like Fat Andrew Jones, Dodgers edition being in there. Stupid. Fat Andrew Jones. Do you know how much money Dodgers pay? Oh, stupid. Let's roll the dice. Six times for each list. It's quad first. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Vancouver had the odds. Vancouver gets... Oh, I know why I put the Alex Tuke there because it's part of the Golden Knights randomizer. All right, two and a four, six times for the sketch card. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Goes to Stephen K. After six. <laughs> Congrats, I guess. This is why a fat guy can't just be stuck in goal. 
the goal is actually wider than we think. All right, now to the important stuff here. Everybody has a shot at the Grandeur coin. The second name will get the Alex 2 Young Guns card uh, along with whatever else there may be. Golden Knights wise. After six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time after six times. Stephen K, you get the uh, Golden Knights cards. And the coin, Matt Buckler. So there you go, Stephen K. All Golden Knights cards will go to you. And Matt Buckler, congrats. Hockey edition of Who Am I? By popular demand. I'm down. All right, who am I? I am a hockey player. Am I active? No, I'm no longer active. I recently retired. Swedish hockey player, recently retired. Played for only one NHL team my entire career. I'm a lefty, shoot left, left winger, 6'1", 187, or 185 centimeters and 85 kilograms, or... Three stone, five pounds. Um, let's see. I was second overall in the NHL draft when I was drafted. Let's see. I don't have any other information here. <laughs> um, gold medalist in Turin. Silver in Sochi. Throughout his career, I've been known as a goal scorer, usually finishing plays initiated by my brother, Heinrich. However, I'm a proficient playmaker and generate many sequences with Heinrich off the psych. Aw, the brothers played together. It's cute. Daniel's familiarity, you should know by now, it's Daniel. Familiar with Heinrich's play enhances his effectiveness. The pair are known for their ability to find each other intuitive other intuitively with passes often without looking. Wow. So there you go. The coin is Daniel Sedin. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Some fine, fine silver. One Troy ounce. 660 out of 1,000. The queen on the other side. Nice. That's really cool. Awesome. So that's Daniel Sedin, played with the Vancouver Canucks his entire career, and Matt Buckler. Congrats to you. You get that one. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.